Hello, Taurus. It's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of April 5th through the 12th, 2021. The cards I'm using today are falling all over the place, okay? Um, these are Dreams of Gaia by Hero Marchetti. Nope, sorry. <laughs> by uh, Raven Palin. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right, let's see what's going on over here, okay? So we got the Ace of Wands here. So I do feel like some kind of new start, new start, new beginning, fertility, um, just new foundations, okay? Do new, solid, successful foundations for um, emotional desire and passion, okay? All right, so we got the Eight of Wands reverse here. So I do feel like somebody is getting ready to cut something or cut somebody off. I heard negative. So I do feel like somebody may be getting ready to cut off things and people with negative energy, okay? You're not holding up no space in my place on my phone, okay? All right, so we got the Two of Water reversed here. So I do feel like somebody's definitely making an emotional decision, possibly to leave away from somebody, Okay. What's crazy is I did not see that this was two people. I don't know what the heck that I seen, but it wasn't two people. But I do feel like somebody's just not coming together with someone, okay? Then we got this 10 of um, Earth reversed here. So I do feel like somebody's going to lose a lot of money uh, or possibly a lot of time spent in this situation. I've been with this person for 10 months, 10 weeks, 10 years. All that's going to a waste. Because I'm just like not ready to um, deal with this situation in a certain way, okay? Oh. All right, let's figure out what the heck these cards is talking about. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on with the Taurus. What's going on? Yeah, Kiro Mar not Kiro Marchetti. I just love Kiro Marchetti. I love Raven too. These cards are very beautiful. I'm going to look for more cards with her in them. Um, yeah, but the, uh, Tarot, D David Corsi is the Draconis cards, so those are pretty nice too, but let me keep going, because I don't know why I'm just babbling, y'all, let's keep going, what's going on, what's going on, what's going on, Taurus, 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 All right, so we got the Seven of Cups reversed here. So somebody's trying to make a decision about what they're going to do, where they're going to go, okay? Somebody's trying to explore their choices, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, so we got the Union card here. So I do feel like some kind of getting together, some kind of coming together is getting ready to happen, okay? But I do feel like whatever is going on is a mutual decision, okay? Okay. All right, so we got the youth card reversed here. So I do feel like somebody is getting ready to grow up, okay? So start making some uh, decisions that are all adult-like and not immature, okay? That's the energy I'm feeling from there. All right, so we got the hero here. So we got the basically the page of wands here. So, I, yeah, I do feel like somebody's making a decision, a united decision to not move forward with something, okay? Okay, with something or someone. All right, so there we go with the seven of uh, wands again. Seven of fire. Uh, yeah, so somebody is not... The, uh, both people agree that this thing is not worth fighting for anymore. I do feel like I want to find more love and more passion and more connection with um, people on the outside. And I do feel like both people feel like this, okay? I do feel like this situation has just run its course on both sides, okay? All right. So we have the queen of air here. Yep. So I do feel like, of course, this situation hurts. This person telling you things that hurt you. You telling them things that hurt them because they hurt you and because it's the truth. Um, and I do feel like, yeah, this is a very honest and um, sort of peaceful, you know, but very honest and blunt um, conversation is getting ready to be had, okay? Mm-hmm. 
All right, so we got the Heaven and Earth card. So this is basically the nine, no, the uh, Knight, Knight of Pentacles, okay? So I do feel like somebody is just like doing a change and turning moment in their life. I do feel like this is going to lead to more positive things. And I do feel like somebody's going to have more money coming in because of this, okay? Or just a better quality of life. Somebody's spending their life doing things that they care about and that they are passionate about, okay? All right, yep. So we got the six of um, air here. And I do feel like fall... I don't know. It's crazy. I heard falling apart. But I do feel like some things, something is like breaking apart to move on anew okay so i don't know it's like a snake shit in his skin or you know you know i don't know like i don't know <laughs> i can't even think of another but i just see like all er the animals and they going through um just i want to call it winterization okay like just the fur and everything is coming off because of um just shedding new skin Let's go. <laughs> All right. So we got the abundance card um, sideways here. So this makes me feel like somebody does have a new beginning, getting ready to come. New things, new love, new possibilities. But I do know that, you know, just holding on to this one little situation is not going to get you there. And you know this. You got to uh, drop everything and move forward for you to receive, for both of you to receive what you deserve and that's what that card and the rest of these cards are saying to me to say to you is you know to be happy you definitely got to do this but i i feel like most of you are already in this process okay but they feel the same way you do all right let's keep going what's going on with the taurus 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 what's going on what's going on what's going on All right, so we got the Four of Swords reverse here. So I do feel like some of you guys want to know, is this situation recoverable? Should you not leave yet? It's unrecoverable with this Four of Swords to me. Okay, that's what this card say to me. You want to fix it, mend it? No, this is not recoverable, okay? I do feel like somebody, of course, you don't want to give up all this time spent, but all you're going to do is end up giving up more time. You know, just to try to stick around in this situation. All right, so we got the Page of Cups reversed here. So I do feel like some kind of false offer or some kind of turn down offer, okay? That makes me feel like that Four of Swords for some of you guys that's going to try to, you know, break this off and then restart this back up. Person you're dealing with is not going to accept it, okay? They're not going to take that offer. All right, so we got the Page of Pentacles here. So this makes me feel like um, I do feel like some kind of unexpected money or unexpected quality of life. Actually, these two are the same cards, okay? So unexpected money, unexpected uh, higher quality of life. But of course, it's after some type of ending, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so we got the two of wands here. So it does seem like Somebody has to make an emotional decision. Should I stay or should I go now? Okay. Let's see what's going on with this Knight of Cups. I mean, Page of Cups. Sorry. All right. Five of Pentacles here. Definitely a lot of money, a lot of time wasted. Going out the window. Not getting anything back from it. Okay. And I do feel like that's why somebody is going to turn this situation down. Is they going to feel this is more time wasted. More money wasted. Okay. They already see it as a waste of time and money. I do feel like a conversation that was had was... Both of y'all expressed that this was a waste of time and money, but then somebody is going back just because that fear of the unknown or being alone, okay? And I do feel like it's going to be rejected because, you know, it's real and it's true that you guys are wasting time and money, okay? So once you get this ball rolling, it's a wrap. All right, let's see what's going on with this page of Pentacles. All right, so we got the Hierophant card here. So I do feel like somebody was going to be suffering from a short bit of depression like I was feeling a second ago, that loss. Um, but I do feel like it's going to be short-lived because we got the 
um, hermit card on top of the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is some kind of unexpected money, unexpected quality of life coming in. And I do feel like whatever this is, it's going to take you out of this depression. And I do feel it's going to leave you in a more um, peaceful and healthy lifestyle, okay? So let's see what's going on with this Two of Wands here. All right, so we got the strength card. So I do feel like, yeah, somebody wants to move move on, move forward, but they feel like they're not strong enough to, okay? But once you roll this ball, okay, it's a wrap. Once you start this conversation, it's done, okay? So this situation has been done for a long time. I just feel like somebody is just realizing, oh, like, we got to make a decision about this. And I do feel like it's a mutual thing, okay? But I do feel like somebody going to try to back up because it's um, scary being alone, but I do feel like it's the right thing to do, okay? So we got the chariot card here. So I do feel like, yeah, like I said, I kept seeing once you start this ball, it's a wrap. It's going, okay? Especially some of the uh, angry things you're going to say, you know, but angry but true things you're going to say. It's still better for you guys to move on past this situation to just stay and be in an unhappy situation okay but of course at the end of the day it's all to you and that's all i have for you guys make sure to check your sun moon and rising signs thanks for watching